we were sold a fraudulent Muslim Muslim ticket and now Muslims are being killed. Yusuf, Knox, Tinobu and Shetima. It's so sad that or about what happened in Kaduna State where one hundred and you know twenty six people were bombed down, including terrorists as well. Mistakenly, they were they weren't even terrorists. Terrorists were not were not even included. The military said that they thought that they were terrorists. They were militants because the way those people were moving from one place to the other resembled the kind of pattern that terrorists usually you know employ to move from one location to the other so they thought they were terrorists and then this innocent individuals were bombed just a few days ago this comment i'm about to make is no way you know saying that uh, the bombing was good and all of that but this headline and what this man yusuf had to say you know it sounds funny a little bit we were sold a fraudulent Muslim Muslim ticket, and now Muslims are being killed. This, this, you know, this statement is making me realize that, you know, <laughs> the Muslims thought that they would, they could, you know, get a pass on everything because it's a Muslim Muslim ticket. When Buhari was there, you know, the these people did and undid, <laughs> if I can put it that way in quotes, you know. They were displaying all sorts, terrorists and everything. It was the, the era when, you know, they had, they thought that they had extra powers because they could be given amnesty at the end of the day. And, you know, they would be sent to school where their brain would be <laughs> washed and would be washed clean on, of any terrorist threat that they might have had. Anyway, like I was saying, this uh, headline is making me realize that these people thought that they had a pass or they had an advantage because the ticket is a Muslim, Muslim one, Tinubu Muslim, Shetima Muslim, and now it's saying we are being killed. Nobody deserves to be killed. It doesn't matter who is the president, whether Muslim or Christian. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. So why will you say uh, you were sold a fraudulent Muslim Muslim ticket? And now, let me also remind you all that you know Christians were being killed as well when Buhari was the president, when uh, we had a Muslim president. In fact, innocent. The case of uh, Deborah Yakubo, who was you know lynch and killed murdered broad daylight all because you know she posted something that wasn't palatable to these people they felt it was blasphemous and let me also say that a woman during this time that sympathized with deborah yakubo during this time that these ugly incidents happened she's in prison since last year may of last year when this ugly incident happened she has been in prison since then all because this woman posted a message on a work WhatsApp group, you know, denouncing what happened to Deborah Yakubo. She was reported and she was arrested. And according to reports, this woman is going to be tried in Sharia court. I don't understand how you can try a Christian in a Sharia court. The principles and laws of Sharia, I don't think that it has anything to do with the Christian religion. But anyway, I don't want to deviate. Before we proceed into the details of today's news, if this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe, like this video, leave your opinions in the comment section below as well. A former executive secretary of a national health insurance scheme, Yusuf Usman, has lamented over the erroneous bombing of residents of Tudum Bori village in Igabi local government area of Kaduna. Newsroom Nigeria reports that the army had erroneously dropped bombs in the village, which led to the killing of over 120 persons. Speaking on the unfortunate incident, 
During an interview on Arise TV, Yusuf said the optics of the Nigerian army, as well as the presidency, is not good. He argued during the 2023 election, Islamic clerics sold a fraudulent Muslim Muslim ticket to Nigerian in the region. The former NHIS filmed that mus Muslims are still being killed in the north despite the, the president and the vice president being Muslims. He said the Muslim clerics in the north came and sold this fraud fraudulent Muslim Muslim ticket and we have Muslim vice president and Muslim president. Our people in the north are saying you are killing Muslims, inflicting a lot more pain on Muslims. You close the borders along all the seven northern states because you want to go to war with Niger. You are inflicting pain. Now you are killing Muslims. Look at the military hierarchy. People are being mischievous. Look at the operational military hierarchy and look at their region. The military needs to be very careful and start doing damage control fast. I can remember when Buhari was the president he closed the borders in the western part of a country but refused to close borders in the north all through the times that borders on in our region with the west was closed the borders in the northern part of the country they were all open and now because <laughs> the president being the chairman of the echoes because of the coup d'etat that happened in Niger republic he closed the borders, you know, in the north, and they are complaining. I'm not trying to say that, you know, I'm just trying to just oppose the two so that we'll know that <laughs> these people thought that um, they would get some certain, you know, level of advantage. According to him, he even said that their cleric, their cleric sold the Muslim Muslim tickets to them. It means they thought that there, there's an advantage. You know, just the way we had a lot of past in Buhari's regime, we are going to get the same treatment here as well. But seeing that it's not happened, this is I'm no way, I'm in no way, I'm no way saying that um, the the killing or the bombing of uh, of 126 people in Kaduna is right. That is not what I'm saying. Check my previous video; you see that I spoke vehemently against it. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> you all, thank you very much for always listening and watching. Like this video, subscribe. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.